In Carson McCullers, The Member of the Wedding, Frankie Adams longs for escape and belonging. I found both when I came home from my own sister's wedding. Her fiance, Richie, was a man of few words. Hey. Hey. The thought of the two of them together literally killed mom. The wedding never happened. But Joni had her baby, and Richie went back out to sea. This is the uh, baby's father. Father? The uh, fisherman. Hey, name this child? Hannah Hansen. Huh? You should have called. Don't worry, Joni, we're going to get you married. <sighs> Somehow that doesn't matter right now. But I knew that would change, that a family wedding was in our future. what I'm trying to tell you, Sid. You have to find when your wedding is at 5. No, 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 that's too rushed. Well, we can try pushing it to 5.30, but I don't know. I don't even have shoes. Come on. Why am I always the last to know? It's not like I had time to send out invitations, Mother. You didn't get one, Mom? And to think when I was pregnant with you, I almost quit smoking. Come on, Sid, hurry up. Sid. Uh, what? No. What? Come on, come downstairs. I made breakfast, and I have a big, humongo announcement to make. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, come on, hurry. All around me are all of your hearts. I still don't know how you got me through the mess. Then you tell me that even angels fall Sometimes when it's quiet, I can hear you call When I think of your smile, oh, you make me home It could be a million lives, and you make me home With the sound of your voice, you make me down and get this over with. I want to shoot some hoops before work. Okay, everybody. Here we go. There's one for you. No, not until I say when. And one for you. One for you. you. Oh, hey, and there's one for me, too. Joni, are you high? Only on life. She's totally baked. Okay, everybody, on my count of three, open. Three. <laughs> you and Richie are getting married tomorrow? Is that what it says? Wow. I guess we are. <laughs> tomorrow? Richie only has two days before he sails out again. I guess congratulations are in order. We're going to do it at City Hall. And then I thought we could all come back here and have a little get-together, you know? Nothing fancy, no big cake or anything like that. Are you sure about this, Joni? We were supposed to get married three months ago. But Mom put a stop to that, remember? She died, Joni. Let's face it. She never wanted me to marry Richie. Let's face it, no one did. I know. But he just got back from a really long fishing trip. And last night, he took Hannah and I mini-golfing. And we were at the windmill hole. And I looked over, and I saw Richie hugging Hannah close to his chest. And he was dancing with her to the music of the ice cream truck. It's very sweet. I know. So I said to myself, OK, if I make this putt, then we are getting married. And I got a hole in one. Let me get this straight. You're doing this because you got lucky? No, not at all. If mom could have seen how much he loves her little granddaughter, it would have made a world of difference. Now, trust me, he is going to be a great daddy. If this is really going to happen, uh, we'd better get ready. 
Do, do you have a dress? Oh, I'm not getting one. It's my treat. You're only getting married once, right? I am so excited. Oh, I'm so scared. Uh, oh, I am so full of pee. Have you guys lost your minds? This is a terrible idea. It does seem rather sudden. Look, you guys, Joni could go off and get married on some boat somewhere, and we'd be the last to find out. This is the happiest I've seen her in a long time. She's asked us to participate. Sid has a point, Robbie. I think we should support Joni in what she wants. Dad, you get a caterer. Absolutely. Robbie, music. Yeah, sure, I'll book a band. Did I forget something? Uh, a cake? Joni just said she didn't want one. No, she said she doesn't want a big one. Come on, Robbie, get in the spirit. OK, I know a guy who has a bakery near where I play ball. He owes me. Fox Point Park, right? Perfect, we can pick it out together. I gotta go to the clinic, and then I'll meet you there at 11. Bye, Dad. Bye. Bye, Hannah. No, 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 dottore. No, I, I'm a hokey dokey John Wayne Chevrolet. Ah, look, I am a strong American, okay? Okay, please, listen. You give me something to make my stomach feel good, okay? But between us, a friend here, I don't want a absolutely no dottore, okay? I'm Dr. Hansen. No, no dottore. <sighs> hello, hello, I am... Uh, I am Marcello. Hello, Marcello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. We see you're having some problems standing. Yes. That lightheadedness, dizziness? Yes. Just standing on the floor? No, no, on my gondola. Oh, I didn't realize we had gondolas in Providence. Oh, yes, I am, uh, I am the premier, the first one. The mayor, he bring me over from Venezia. But I cannot be gondolier sitting down. It's stupid. <sighs> but if, if he find out, he will send me back. And if I go back, I am a failure. Oh, don't worry. I think you just have some seasickness. Never, never had one before. What's a sickness? <laughs> it's when you get a little dizzy on the water. I'm going to try a scopolamine patch. Hopefully that'll help, OK? Yes, you help me. That's good. But uh, I beg of you, we no say nothing to the mayor. Huh? We keep nice and quiet, quiet. Huh? Quiet, quiet. Your secret's safe with me. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom. Stop. Leave me alone. Stop following me. Go on, shoot. Hey, mister, I bet I can beat you. Oh, yeah? You think so, huh? I know so. <laughs> How much are we talking? Oh, I don't know. One or two million dollars. All right. Well, why don't we play a warm-up game, and then we'll talk turkey. Is that your dog? Nope. Wouldn't have no mutt like that. <laughs> Nobody wants a dog that got two toes left on him and stinks. Play the 21. It was so much fun telling everybody about the wedding today. I can't believe we're finally going to do it, Rich. So when are you going to move all your stuff over here? Oh, I've already started packing. Welcome to your new home. Yeah, that's my little girl. I have the most beautiful little girl. Yeah. I like your little outfit. You see little fishies daddy made? You see little fishies? Huh? You like the fishies? Yeah. Maybe one day me and you will go fishing. He's like a lightning. He's so fast you can't even see him. Come on. Him. Ready? Ready? Oh! He steals the ball! He's down by two. Ten seconds left to play. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Oh, the crowd goes wild! All right, come on. Next basket wins. Let's see what you got. You want a ball with the kid? That's right. You want a ball with the kid? That's right. Make a move. Eldon. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here, Eldon. Hey, Robbie, you ready to go? I can't. What's going on? I don't know. Robbie! <laughs> Come here, Eldon. <laughs> ah! 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 Sid, help me get him to the car. Be careful, he may have broken some ribs. Where are you taking him? To my dad's, you wanna come? I told you, he ain't my dog. All right, well, if anyone comes looking for him, he's at the Hanson Vet Clinic, H-A-N-S-E-N. 
Hi. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> you all right? Oh, of course. Of course, I, I was... I was just wondering if you, um, wanted to uh, discuss anything. I know you're a vet, but it's a little late for the birds and bees speech. Actually, I was thinking about something a little more serious than that. Oh, if this is about work, I was just going to take two days off, get settled, and I'll be right back here, bright and cheery as ever. Uh, it isn't about that either. Joni, are you sure you've taken enough time to decide that this is really what you want in the long run? I don't know. Um, how can you tell? Did you know when you were marrying Mom that it was the right thing? Oh, I think so. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we both thought so. And? Well, and, uh, and we were married 32 years and raised a good family. And we had our ups and downs, sure, but... Uh, but? Look, sweetie, every marriage has its issues. Uh, your mother never... Well, it wasn't just your mother. I, that's not fair. Uh, what am I trying to say here? It, Careful. Dad, I think you broke some ribs. Here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Ah! Oh, jeez. Wait. Oh, Dad! Hell. Uh. What happened? That kid was about to get beat up. The dog saved him. Yeah, he was trying to protect him. And he got McGuired with a two by four. Ouch. Is it going to be okay, Dad? Uh, nothing appears to be broken. X ray will tell us for sure. Uh, your kid said it wasn't even his dog. No, he's a stray. Malnourished, underweight, probably dehydrated. You've seen it all, haven't you, pal? Hang in there, boy. Sid, I forgot to tell you the minister called. He can do it, but he's got another ceremony at 7. Oh, that's right. That gives us plenty of time. Oh, damn, Joni, we've got to be at the bridal shop in 10 minutes. Come on, Missy. I'm gonna go get the cake and head over to O'Neill's and audition bands. Do you have any requests? Dad? Um, Andrew's sisters. I look like Miss Congeniality. How about this one? No, it's not on sale. Joni. Sid, why don't we just rent one? It's not like I have any room in my closet for it anyway. Plenty of room at home. Not in my new place. What new place? I'm moving in with Richie. You are? What? Of course you are. I'm getting married. The movers come next week. I guess I just didn't think about it. Well, you didn't expect me to live at home for the rest of my life, did you? No, it makes total sense. It's just a big change, that's all. Sid, I see you more now than I have in the past 15 years total. Yeah, it's just gonna be weird coming home and you're not down the hall. The end of an era. And the beginning of a new one. Don't worry. Richie and I will still invite you to our fish fries. Great. I'll bring the tartar sauce. How am I looking? Like a hood ornament? You gotta see this one for yourself. God, that bad? Let's just bag this whole dress thing. Oh. Tony? Yeah, you look beautiful. Okay, I think I'm wearing this every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? Came to see about the dog. Which dog is that? Got in the fight. The man said he was taking him here. Oh, that one. You have a very brave dog. It ain't mine. Hmm. Um, would you like to come in? Nope. Well, sure is a nice dog. And nobody's been here yet to claim him. He's still breathing? Sure is. He's sleeping right now. You can come see him if you like. No one's gonna claim him. That would be a shame. I'll tell you what, I'll clean him up anyway. Come on, it's time for me to go check on him. Um, what was your name, young man? I'm Jim. Eldon. Hi, Eldon. Come on, let's go see him. I only got a minute. There he is.
Where are you going? I'll be right back, Elton. Hey, Dr. Sidney. Well, uh, the patch does no good. I get so dizzy, I fall off my gondola and uh, my head gets hit. Let's take a look at that. Okay. It's not so bad, no? Well, uh, you're gonna need some stitches. No, 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 I'm strong. It will heal. Well, you don't want a scar. This might sting a little bit. No, I'm strong. Of course you are. Ah, ah. Okay, ah. just a second. Here we go. There you go. You just want to hold that there. Put some pressure. Why don't you lay back? Have you had any uh, shortness of breath, chest pains, or headaches? No, not me, no. Oh, it, it is not a seasickness. Okay, well, I want to order some blood tests just to make sure we rule out any other health problems. W will it be only you doing it? If you'd like. Yes, please. Okay. You have uh, very soft hands. Thank you. Any history I should know about? Uh, no. Marcello, if you don't talk to me, I can't help you. Okay, well, uh, I am Halon. My girlfriend, Chiara, she stays in Venezia. Mm. I was actually talking about your medical history. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I guess, Chiara, she didn't want to come with you, huh? No, no, she's a stubborn. Mm. She's from Sicily, you know? Well, maybe you should call her, talk to her. It's a good idea. We, we become fast friends, huh? Wonderful, guys. Thank you. Um, baby's got brass. know why I kept all this junk. Here you go. What is that? Uh, my book about Joni by Joni Hansen. Oh, my God. Seven years old. Oh. My first dream, I opened up Daddy's cages and let all the animals run away. <laughs> oh. oh, and Daddy was forced to open a chocolate factory. <laughs> Dr. Doolittle becomes Willy Wonka. <laughs> oh, God, look at this picture I drew. My family, look at Mom and Dad. <laughs> I guess that's me and Robbie. Where am I? I don't know. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> ah, you're all hair. Oh, oh, and you put me in the doghouse. Oh, Thank you. I always wanted curly hair. Yeah, I always wanted straight hair. <laughs> Last night, Shay Hansen. You stay up late? Oh, I'm pulling an all-nighter. What about you? I wouldn't miss this for the world. All right. Listen to this. My Prince Charming is tall and thin, has black hair, and loves Bucky. Bucky! I forgot about Bucky. You still keep him under the bed? Yeah. Oh, where is he? I don't see him. Oh, uh, he, he's already packed. Oh, the buck. Ward off evil spirits. <laughs> Richie's gonna love him. 
God, I hope so. He's not at all what I dreamt of. Hey, don't be ridiculous. It's just kid stuff, Joe. Yeah. <sighs> what is that? Is Richie playing the guitar? No. I, yeah, I mean, I'm in a little. <laughs> It's a moonlight serenade. Incredibly romantic. Not to mention surprising. Come on. I can't believe Richie thought of this. You steal more? Richie? Who the hell are you? Marcello? Dr. Sidney. You know each other? He's a patient of mine. No, I am a much, much more. <sighs> Joni, I know you love the other dress, but this one is perfect. It is totally you. All right. She should marry him, Sid. Mom, do you know how much cod he has to catch to afford a diamond ring, let alone a honeymoon? Mother, that is not the point. You're right. It's not the point. But it is a point. And here's another one. Both Richie and Joni don't think before they act. Hannah is proof of that. Yeah, but don't you think they're doing the right thing now by trying to be a family? If they were suited to each other, yes. But they're not. Richie's very quiet, keeps his feelings to himself. And your sister is the headline news of emotion, with updates every seven minutes. Sometimes opposites attract. Yeah, but they have to be in the same room. Richie's off trolling two months at a time. I can't see that making Joni happy. Look, maybe Joni knows that they're different and figures marriage will force them to work things out. Marriage never works anything out. Love works things out. Do you think they love each other? Do you? I asked you first. I wish I knew for sure. Shh, here comes the bride. Should I shave or wax? <laughs> Gotcha. Ugh, Robbie, what are you doing? The cast of Helen called. They just had a cancellation. Oh, that's great. You thinking of doing Joni's wedding there? I can't believe they had an opening on such short notice. Oh. Don't you think it's perfect? Why, because that's where mom and dad were married? Yeah, and also because it's a beautiful place to start a new life. I don't get it. You just keep making this wedding bigger. No, I'm trying to make it special for Joni. No, replace her, uh, last trip down the aisle with a happy memory. There's just one thing that's bugging me. What's that? Do you think Richie loves her? I don't know. All Richie and I ever talk about with the Celtics. Now do me a favor and ask him. Oh, God, what am I supposed to do? Slip that one in between comments about Purvis Ellison's jump shot? I just want him to marry her because he loves her, not out of some obligation. Please, it's important. All right, I'll ask. Great. <laughs> Come on, Joni, it's the perfect place. You've always loved it. I want to have my wedding there someday. I don't know. Did I steer you wrong with the dress? Huh? Okay. Mm-mm. How about this one? Oh, she doesn't like that one. You like this one? Yes, you like that one. Hey, Eldon, I'm setting up a file, and we usually put the dog's name on it. She don't have a name. Well, what do you call him? Nothing. Hmm. Any ideas? What kind of a name do you think he looks like? How about Worm? You want to call a dog Worm? Like Dennis Rotman. Because he's tough and nobody likes him. Hey, morning. Hi. Eldon's decided the dog's name is Worm. Yeah? Like Rodman? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Eldon, we were thinking that once Stag gets Worm better, if you want, you can take him home. I don't want to. Why not? I can't do it. We can get you anything you need. Yeah, free food, vet care. It's not about that. He ain't my dog. Eldon. No one owns him. 
And Worm really wants to be with you. No way, I can't do it. Eldon, wait. <coughs> Let him go, Ralph. He's just scared. You think he'll be back? I hope so. Can't be. Robbie wants us to come up with a list of wedding songs. Yeah, how about Welcome to the Jungle? Not Guns and Roses. I was thinking of something more classic, you know? Some of the standards. Well, yeah, like uh, Stairway. No, like In the Mood. I hate that hooked on swing stuff. Well, maybe we can just play a few of them, you know? So we have something to dance to. I can't dance to that. Please. Okay, whatever. Fine, if you want to chat, you get choo choo all night long. <laughs> Thanks. What is this? Richie, meet Bucky. Jeez, thing's a rat. Bucky's a badger. My daddy gave him to me when I was a little girl because I was afraid of the dark, so he slept under the bed to keep away all the evil spirits. I'll get rid of it. He'll just be under the bed. Yeah, but I'll know he's under the bed. He'll protect Hannah. From what? Evil spirits. No, he'll give her a heart attack. I'm serious. Yeah, me too. It has got to go. Here you go. Thanks. Buongiorno. Hey. Hello. I can't do anything about those stitches for a couple of days. Yes, I know. May I speak to you in all the perfect honesty? Absolutely. I just, uh, I just wanted to say uh, to you, uh, howdy, partner. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sweet. Uh, your blood work came back. Everything looks good. Your inner ear balance is fine. You're looking 100%. So how do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Did you call your girlfriend? Chiara, uh, well, um, I, I try, but I, I cannot get to myself, you know? Mm. You know, I've been thinking maybe you miss Italy and Chiara. Maybe I am uh, homesick, not to seasick. Maybe. Mm. Excuse me, Dr. Hansen, the florist is on the phone. Oh, I'll be right there. I got to take this call. OK. Oh, my god, did someone die here? No, no, my sister's getting married. Ah, amore. Oh, exactly. You're lovesick, Margello. Uh, come back on Tuesday. I'll take those stitches out. You bet your ranch. Uh, Hello. Hey, Richie. Hey. Thanks for coming down, huh? What you drinking? Whatever's on tap. Right. Hey, boss. Sure. Sketch at Celtics game yesterday? Yeah. But I was thinking since we're about to be related, maybe we could talk a little bit about the wedding. Oh, yeah. Hey, me too. I need a best man. I was hoping you'd be willing. Cool. Great, great. It's about that Celtics game, unbelievable, huh? Yeah. There's one more thing. Do you love Joni? Of course I do. I mean, she's the mother of my little girl. Why? Right. You know, Sid made me ask. Women, they think that there's this magical, mystical, mystery thing about being in love. You know? To be honest, I don't get what the big deal is. Well, I think that love's a pretty cool thing. It comes and goes. Like, my parents were in love, and then, boom, they got divorced. Why are you getting married? Because it's the right thing to do. And Hannah should live with both of her parents. Oh, it's only hit the hole in one, so. Oh, it seems to me you're getting married more out of obligation, you know, not so much out of love. Look, I love Joni, but it's, it's my own kind of love. system we've been watching will be entering the area late this afternoon or tonight at the latest. So lots of rain on the way the next couple of days. Local highs in the low to mid 50s, overnight lows from 40 to 45. You okay, Dad? Ever better. A Hanson family tradition continues. Hip, hip, hooray. Your mother and I were married here in 66. 
And my parents' wedding was right down by the water there in 44, when my dad came back from the war. And now it's Joni's turn. Come on, Hannah. Let's you and I go check in with the manager. Thanks, Dad. I don't like it. Why? I hate it. Uh, aside from the rain, what do you hate? Don't push me, Sid. I'm not pushing. I just want to know what you could possibly hate about this place. He hates Bucky. Joni, you're getting married in two hours. It's just nerves. Haven't you ever heard of the pre-wedding jitters? I don't know. Did you feel nervous yesterday? No. Yes. Oh, God, I'm a wreck. What do you want to do? <sighs> Let the tradition continue. You gotta do something. He's not in love. Who? Richie. It's really bad, Sid. What happened? He was at O'Neill's telling me his philosophy on marriage. Joni's about to get married to the Grim Reaper. Where is he? He's inside getting dressed. Okay, you have to talk to Joni, all right? I do it myself, but there's no way in hell she'd ever hear me out. All right. Promise me you'll do it. I promise. Okay. Joni. Joni? Oh. Hey. Is this thing straight? Uh, sort of. Darn it. Can you give me a hand with this? Well, I was really just looking for Joni. I'd really appreciate it. Sure. Thanks. You know, Richie, we've never really had a conversation before. <laughs> Which makes this a little awkward. I mean, we don't have any kind of relationship, and... I mean, I know I, I delivered Hannah, yeah, but... Yeah. But, um, well, I, I guess what I'm, I'm trying to ask you is, um... Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm already wearing my tux. Thanks. Sid. First time I ever saw your mother on her wedding dress, she came right around that corner. That's nice. She yelled at me. Said it was bad luck to see her before the ceremony. Richie. How are you? Good, sir. Yeah. You got the ring? Oh, yeah. Got it. Okay. How does my hair look? Yeah, I gotta fix my hair. The ring? Yeah, I'm positive it's at O'Neill's. Mm. Or at home. Girls. <laughs> oh, you picked the perfect outfit for Hannah. See, I told you you'd get compliments. <laughs> Feels so good to sit down. <laughs> Last few days just flew by. Yeah. It's been a little overwhelming pulling the party together so quickly. Thanks for doing it all. You're welcome. You know, Joni, you wouldn't be letting any of us down if you needed some time to think about things. Mom never liked him. But she didn't have to. I know, but it would have been so great if she had. You like him, don't you, Sid? Yeah, but, but that doesn't matter. It's your life, Joni. And you need to decide whether you love him or not. And you should definitely know if he loves you. You said he does. What about you? I said I do, too. Come on in. 
Marcello? At last. I find you. Uh, uh, this, is, this is for you. Thank you. Please, I make a great discovery. I was no seasick from the sea. I was no homesick from uh, Venezia. I was lovesick from the heart, like you say. And now, I am no more. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Yes, yes, you must take my hand. Take your hand where? <laughs> in, in marriage. Oh, no. Yes, you, know, you, you, Sydney, you heal my head. You, you heal my heart. I will love you like no man who come before. Oh, Marcello, this is very flattering, but I can't marry you. You, you can't? No. Oh. Oh. I, uh, I, I will kill myself. Uh, I will uh, jump. Well, we're on the first floor. Oh. You haven't called Chiara yet, have you? No, uh, Chiara does not uh, even know I exist. My life uh, is over. Marcello, listen to me. You're not in love with Chiara. And you're not in love with me. You're in love with being in love. Which is wonderful, but it can't be rushed. You have to be patient and let love find you. It's not easy. Hmm. Best things never are. I want to thank you for your patience. Uh, it shouldn't be much longer. Actually, it couldn't possibly be much longer. But gee, he should be back soon. Jim, I'm sorry. The other wedding kicks off in an hour. Uh, maybe we should just get started and Robbie will get here when he gets here. But he's got the ring. Uh, traditionally, that isn't needed till the very end. Huh? Huh? Okay. I was just on my way out. What happens if I lose him? What are you talking about? Mom could die too. Couldn't he? Hey, don't worry about it, man. You're gonna take good care of him. I know, but I'm not gonna love him. Why not? Because my mom and me, we love my dad so much, and then he died. I don't want Worm to die too. Your dad didn't die because you loved him, Eldon. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. It hurts a lot. But you can't be afraid to do it again. A worm is going to live because you love him. And you guys are going to be friends for a long time, OK? Can I come see Worm tomorrow? Yeah. Sure, first thing. Hey, we never finished that game. Oh, man, you were finished before you even touched the ball. <laughs> we are gathered here to witness one of God's most beautiful creations. We spend our days wandering the earth, incomplete, longing, searching for our other half to unify our soul and fulfill our destiny. Today, we are in the presence of Two extraordinarily lucky people, Richard and Joan. Whose love for each other is everlasting and whose souls will forever be united as one. presence of friends and family? Is there anyone who feels this union of souls is not? Sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. 
Sorry. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. Perfect timing. Is there anyone who feels this union of souls is not a completion of destiny? Say something. I do. One moment, we haven't reached the vows. No, I do feel that way. I do too. You do? Yeah. You both object? <laughs> this is the best party and the best knot never tied. <laughs> I could be fine with it either way, but I know one lady who's definitely dancing in heaven. Absolutely. came back. He wants the dog. Terrific. Now, don't think I'm getting soft or anything. But maybe like the minister said, the two of them finally found each other. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys. It's time. Oh, to cut the cake. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's two new fish in the sea. Prince Charming is still out there somewhere. Maybe just one date away. Ugh, no, do I have to start dating again? <laughs> Welcome to the club. Thank <laughs> you. 